Hello and welcome to stage 6 of the Cambridge Latin course. Today we will be having a look at the imperfect tense. So a quick recap and clarification of the present tense, which we've seen in the five stages of the Cambridge Latin course so far. We usually see it in two forms, um, in Latin thus far, um, as we often use in English. Um, the first of which is the present simple, and this refers to a repetitive habitual activity which happens in general. So for example, I go to the market. On the other hand, uh, present tense can also be seen in terms of a continuous form, which refers to an action happening right now, i.e. at this exact moment of speech. So for example, I hope that whilst I'm speaking, you are learning and benefiting from this presentation. And this form will be indicated by the use of the verb to be and also the present participle, i.e. the ing form. So instead of using the verb to go in terms of I go, I would say I am going to the market instead. On the other hand, the imperfect tense, which takes its name from the Latin verb imperfectus, which means incomplete or unfinished, unsurprisingly refers to an event which began in the past but is unfinished or not yet complete. It's important to make this distinction from uh, the perfect tense um, and we refer to both of these generally in English as the past tense but this um, difference is important as we'll see in the next video. Now as in Romance languages um, as well as Latin, from which uh, these languages take their root. Um, the imperfect tense has some specific scenarios when it's likely to be used. Here are four which I feel are pretty important. Um, so firstly, to indicate repetition and continuity of an action that was happening, used to happen, or regularly happened in the past as it was ongoing. Secondly, to describe people, things, or conditions of the past. Thirdly, to indicate emotions as well as a physical or mental state or condition. And finally, to indicate the relation between two events in the past. So that would involve, for example, a sentence like, while I was watching TV, um, my brother came into the room. So you're using a general, so a general situ situation in the past is interrupted by a definitive action. Um, again, highlighting the difference between the imperfect and the perfect tense, the latter of which we will come to later, as I've mentioned before. Now, how to recognise the imperfect tense in Latin sentences? Um, here we have three three columns of verbs, ambulare, audere, and esse, conjugated in the imperfect tense. Um, you'll notice that underlined in the ambulare conjugation section, we have the letters BA underlined and the letters EBA underlined for audere. Now, if you see a BA or EBA segment in a verb, um, before the verb ending and after the verb stem, you can be sure that this indicates the imperfect tense. And on the far right, we have the conjugation for essay, um, which is the main imperfect verb, which is the main irregular verb in the imperfect tense, which you would encounter, um, which runs as follows, aram, aras, arat, Aramis, Aratis, Arant. And the general endings for the imperfect tense are Bam, Bas, Bat, Bamus, Batis, Bant. So here we have a, an exercise um, based on those verb endings for the imperfect tense for you to have a go at. Please pause the video and um, restart once you've had an adequate attempt. Um, and here are the answers. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.